Scrape clean and spotless down to the bare metal. So a few minutes later, I got it up enough. Now I can just peel the rest of it up. So I got enough underneath of it. I'm gonna be able to get some, get a grip. Now I can go ahead and work on uh, cleaning out this track really, really good. Because if I don't clean that out really, really good, I will not get a good seal. And that would defeat the whole, well, not the whole purpose, the other part of it, so that I can actually see through it. <laughs> so, well, now it's time to start doing that. All right, so we're all done. And uh, yeah, scrape clean and spotless down to the bare metal. I got all of the dust off, give it some acetone, clean this out really good. And uh, yeah, get ready to uh, prep the sealant and put it in there and then all this and that, and then we should be good to go. So, whew, it's a long day, sun's already going down, so. It's just a ton, a ton, ton, ton of over 30 years of uh, scraping of sealant that's on there. You have to scrape off. So, yeah. So, no big deal. But at least one of them's done and getting ready to put in. Hey, you. What are you doing? I am uh, trimming the glass that we bought. We bought this uh, polycarbonate sheets. And, um,. When I did the pattern, as you can see here, if you look really close, I was just a little bit off. So when I went to go put it in, and I was also off there when I did my pattern. So since I was off, what I'm doing is, is I put the old one and put it all on here. And then I'm using it as a template using my sander and then, um, and then just rounding those edges off so that it's all exactly the same size. Theoretically, I should be able to put it right back into place since it's the same size and that's the hole that it came out of. So, yeah, that's it. Just that simple. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it, definitely, keep... it definitely um, saved us a lot of money instead of buying a brand new hatch to just, because the hatch itself is in really good shape. Yeah. It's just the glass, as you can see, had all the spider webbing. I don't know. They just didn't put quality glass or maybe they're the originals I'm not quite sure I don't know if it shows in the film but it has like all these weird cracks on it so I'm taking my grinder I'm gonna sand these edges off and uh, yeah should be good to go
same size all the way around. Do you remember what kind we got? Polycarbonate. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look at it to remember because we bought it when we were actually in St. Pete before we left. So, yeah. Yeah, we just took the template to one of the glass shops in town and asked them, can they do it? We measured the width that we needed for ours and we wanted in polycarbonate, which has excellent UV protection and is unbreakable, right? I don't know about unbreakable. Have you ever met a Marine? Oh. I mean, if you a, know what I mean, if a Marine can break, if it can be broke, if it can't be broken, a Marine could probably still find a way to break it or impregnate it, one or the other, or lose it. So, yeah. all right, here so we go. We're all the same size all the way around. Yep. And we are not gonna cut that hole in the middle because we are not going to put a fan vent yeah, in there. That thing was way more trouble than what it was worth. It really was. Way we had, more trouble. Than we what had it was to worth. keep sealing it, and it leaked, and then the fan stopped working. And you know what? For the cost and what it was, I I just prefer to have a little screen there and one of those. What what are they called? Those little tent things? Oh, our uh, air scoop. The air scoop. The freaking that, AC. Our yeah, AC, that man, that does work better than the AC. Yeah. I mean, we still. If I do pull into a marina, I do turn on the AC because I don't like leaving my hatches open. Well, that and plus we don't get the boat doesn't turn into the wind. Yeah. We're tied up to a slip. So but on it anchor can get or freaking on a mooring ball. Amazing. Mm hmm. All right. Could do it. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, when you buy that's when you buy a glass or a plexiglass or whatever, it comes with this film on it, so that you can't scratch the surface while you're cutting it and working on it and all that other stuff. So. That'll get peeled off and um, yeah, I'm gonna clean all this up with acetone and get ready to uh, put it together. All right, day two of hatch time. So, um, yeah, first one's done. I'm just gonna wait for, uh, I'm gonna wait to put all the top sealant around on both of them for the second coat, all at the same time. Um, so, today I'm just working on this one. I already got the glass out. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get this done today. Uh, Madeline is over there taking care of some of the other stuff, which is, uh, very important stuff as well so you may not see her too much to, uh, while I'm doing these windows because she's doing or doing these hatches because she's doing all of the laundry and the pillows and the sheets and everything that was still in the boat that um, just needs to be washed and cleaning up organizing things going through stuff like that so that we can start putting stuff back in here and yeah so I'm over here today and she's over there today right over there somewhere <laughs> over there by the laundromat so and yeah so this is what we're doing today super easy tedio but easy as with everything on the boat or van or house or computers or whatever um the second time you do something it goes a lot quicker it took me about probably four hours to from start to finish to totally get that one cleaned up and done and everything like that it took me about a mm, little less than two hours to get this one done so it's sitting here now they're drying i'm gonna let this uh the first coat of sealant in here soak in and set in and then um once i let this first coat get kind of in here for a good couple hours then i'm gonna come back with my clear coat and do both hatches at the same time 
so that way I don't have to worry about doing one and then leaving the tube out and the tip drying or anything. It's just better just do them all at the same time. So yeah, and once I do that, I'll be able to peel off the top sheet and see into the boat clearly. It's gonna be so nice not to look up and see a spider web and an old crappy ass fan that had goop all over it and it was a mess. So it's gonna be really nice. Already cleaned up all my tools. This is basically everything I used right here. It didn't take much, you know, handy dandy little uh, dermal tool kit and just some basic tools. That's it. That's all there was to it. I used, um, uh, I use the uh, butyl rubber sealant for the bottom coat and to hold it in. And then um, I'm gonna use some clear cone marine grade sealant to go across the top. Same as always, we're gonna have to check it um, every year, obviously, just like we did, you know, on anything. It's gonna be exposed in the sun that much and just go through and do touch ups and maybe scrape a little bit off and touch it up and stuff like that so that it stays nice and fresh and we don't have any leaks. And uh, cause that's boat life is wait till it rains so you can find where it's leaking from next. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna start tackling, speaking of leaks, one of the things we're gonna be doing is tackling some of these things, the leaks that we have on the mast. One of the things that we were going to do that we never did do on last time was we have some of these line lead holes that the plates were off of. So we basically had just kind of duct tape over them with the same color tape as the mast, so we didn't have to worry about it. But now we're going to go back and we're going to do it the right way so that they have actual line leads where they're supposed to be and they actually look nice and don't leak. So slowly but surely we're finding all the major leaks. A lot of stuff to do, but at least we got one of our big projects out of the way for the day. And uh, Madeline was able to get all of the laundry done and stuff like that. And now we're going to start hopping into the electrical and seeing if I can go ahead and fix that mess that got the broken fin and the Dutchman line wound up in it. And now it's time for the big reveal. You love it? <laughs> the spider webs are gone. You can see clearly now. All right. So, yeah. There's our end product. She's looking beautiful. All right. So, both the hatches are done now. They're all nice and sealed. Looks like they got a nice clean bead all around on the inside. I guess that's the plus of seeing the, uh, getting the clear. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go inside and check it out. See what it's like. I think Maddie likes it. And? It looks really good, look. Yeah. We're gonna be able to see the stars, so. Oh yeah. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Difference. Did you take the before? Yeah, Ugh. definitely took before. Look at all this bright light that we have in here now in the V-Birth. Mm -hmm. Now I can see just how dirty it is. <laughs> I know, I but can't look wait that. to get in here and start cleaning. Oh man, this is gonna be amazing. Now I get to clean up all the mess that I made scraping. Yeah. There's some of our new batteries and all the stuff we gotta put away. Lots of cleaning. Boat projects make Good mess. <laughs> All right, so today is a day that's been long coming since, well, since we had the boat. Because our uh, wind generator has always been kind of eh at best. 
and um, it got a broken fin on it and then that storm in Rodriguez Key actually did it in uh, that night ever ever since that night um, we think that um, I didn't tie it off so we didn't have a break on it and I think that the winds were just so high that night that it actually burned it out so today ta -da, got us a nice new wind generator so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in it's about the same specs as the old one it has a um, it's a uh, it's about the same specs as the old one it's a 400 watt generator but it's a five blade instead of a uh, three blade so the startup before it starts charging is a lot less speed and um, it is actually rated up to uh, the maximum wind speed is 100 miles an hour so we don't have to worry about getting caught in squalls and stuff like that and me forgetting to tie it off again because hopefully we won't be getting in any squalls that are going to go more than 100 miles an hour so yeah i'm just going to knock this out and start putting it together and hopefully maybe be able to get it in today i may get it on the pole but i may have to wait till tomorrow to put it on and then um, i'm going to throw in some batteries so yeah i just need something to charge them because there's no use in me putting it up if there's nothing to charge it with so i can do it all at once i like doing all the electrical work together